Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Myself Parag Jambulkar. In this video, we will see getter properties in LWC or Lightning Web Component. Now, why we require getter properties? So, getter properties are required to implement some logic or to perform some calculations and return value. So, see, when we create any LWC project, so see, there we have HTML file, JavaScript file, right? Now see, in HTML file, we are accessing value of this property, right? But see, suppose based on this age, suppose I want to print rank. Suppose our age is above 50, then rank should be 1. If our age is in between 30 to 50, then rank should be 2. And if it is below than 30, then rank should be 3. Suppose if we want to implement this logic and we want to print the rank. So see, suppose here we want to print the rank is equal to from this curly bracket we want to access rank but see this is not a single property here it is logic right here we have to implement logic if age is greater than 50 rank should be 1 if it is in between 30 to 50 rank should be 2 and if it is below than 30 then rank should be 3 right so we have to implement this logic and definitely this is not possible in html file right because from HTML, we can print static data, right? So, to implement logic in HTML, it is not possible, right? So, for that, we have to take help of JavaScript file. In JavaScript file, we can write getter property. From that getter property, we can print rank. So, see, how to write getter property? So, see, this is our JavaScript file. Now, see, this is our object, right? So, in last example, we have seen how to write object. Now, see. Here, we will write getter property. So, see, to write getter property, we have to use keyword get. Then, getter property name. So, see, suppose our getter property name is get employee rank, right? Suppose this is the name of our getter property. So, that here I have written. Now, see, after that, round bracket. Now, see, as it is getter property, in this round bracket, we cannot mention any parameter. This getter property does not accept any parameters. So, that's why it should be blank. Now, see. Here, we will write code. Now, see. We will create one more property. That should be constant. So, here, I am mentioning keyword const. Then, rank is equal to. And here, I have to write logic. Now, see. We are comparing this age. Right? So, see. This dot employee, right? This dot employee. So, employee, this object we are accessing, right? Dot age. Now, see if this age is greater than or equal to 50. In that case, so see here we are using conditional operator. Question mark. If this age is greater than or equal to 50. So, this is our condition. Right? If it is greater than equal to 50, then rank should be 1. Right? Else. After colon, there should be else part. Right? Now see. Again, we will check. So see. Lesser than 50. But again, we have to check. If it is greater than 30 or lesser than 30. So see. Again, here we will add. This dot employee dot is greater than equal to 30. So, if it is greater than or equal to 30, and already we have checked, right? Lesser than 50. If it is greater than or equal to 30 and lesser than 50, so see, question mark, we have to print 2, rank 2, colon. So, see, if this condition is false, if this condition is true, then 2. If this condition is false, so here we have to write 3, semicolon, right? So, here we have written logic. So, see, if this condition is true, then rank should be 1, right? If this condition is false, so this part will be executed, right? Now, see, here also we have put one condition. So, see, here again we are checking. If A is greater than equal to 30, so one more condition we have added, right? If it is true, then rank will be 2. Else, if this condition is false, then rank should be 3, right? So, see, by using conditional operator, here we have written some logic, right? Now see, this getter property should return rank, right? So see, here I am writing return 
rank like this. So see, here we are calculating rank and that rank we are written, right? Now see, so here it is showing dot, that means it is not saved. So see, I am pressing control yes. So by this, this file is saved. Now see, we want to access this getter property in this HTML file, right? So see, I am copying this name and here for rank in curly bracket, here we will mention getter property name like this. So see, get employee rank. This is our getter property name, right? Rank is equal to in curly bracket. Here we have mentioned getter property name, which we have defined in .js file in JavaScript file, right? So see, here in curly bracket, we have mentioned our getter property name. Here it is showing dot, right? That means it is not saved. Now I am pressing control yes. So by this it is saved, right? Now see. So we will deploy this component onto the org. So see. Now see, on this component, I have to right click. Here we have option deploy source to org. Okay. So it successfully got deployed onto the org. Now see, we will check, we will refresh it. So see, it is taking time. Again, we will refresh it. So here you can see rank is equal to 2. Why rank is equal to 2? Because age is 35, right? It is in between 30 to 50. That's why rank is 2. See, suppose if we change age to 55 or 57, something like this. 57. Now see, rank should be 1, right? So see, again we will deploy it. Got deployed. Now see, we will refresh it. One more time, we will refresh it. Okay. So see, age is equal to 57 and rank is equal to 1. So see, here we are implementing logic, right? So logic we have mentioned in getter property in JavaScript file. And how we are accessing it? We are accessing it in HTML file, right? So in this way, we have seen how to use getter properties in Lightning Web components. So friends, I hope you like this video. If it is, then click on like, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So stay connected. Thank you.